A mysterious bard named Venti has recently appeared in the world, singing tales for the city of freedom and romance. This city is Mondstadt, the crown of the north, a free nation with no ruler. This once bitter cold land in the north of Tevat is now fertile, a blessing left by the god of Animo, they say. A thousand years have passed since the god of Animo left this land. But to me, it has only been half that time. Come on, traveler, let's go! The world is full of lost ballads just waiting to be rediscovered. As an archer with the power of Animo, Venti can battle with ease in almost any environment. His versatile attack style and his ability to launch enemies with his elemental skill allow for a high amount of mobility in battle. His unique elemental burst can pull together nearby enemies, making him a strategic character who can both deal damage and control the battlefield. When Venti is in your party, gliding consumes less stamina for all characters. Needless to say, this skill will come in handy on your adventures. Take Venti along when exploring the beautiful open world. Normal attacks can perform up to six consecutive shots. The first and fourth shots can fire an extra arrow, while the sixth shot deals greater damage. Hold the attack button to use a more powerful aimed shot. When fully charged, an animo-infused arrow is fired and deals even more damage to the enemy. Call upon the wind on which hymns and songs fly to lift your enemies up into the sky. When you use the elemental skill Skyward Sonnet, Venti summons a wind domain at the enemy's location, dealing area of effect animo damage. Enemies are launched into the air and fall slowly to the ground. Hold Skyward Sonnet to summon an even larger wind domain around Venti, dealing greater area of effect damage and launching enemies into the air. Venti also uses this powerful wind to fly high into the air. Adept use of this skill not only allows you to attack enemies, but also dodge attacks and move around the environment. If the opportunity presents itself, you can also use a plunging attack from above. Wind domains can even be utilized to help you get around. After unlocking the talent Embrace of Winds, holding Skyward Sonnet will also create a temporary upcurrent as you fly into the air. By firing an arrow infused with coalesced winds, Venti creates a fierce storm that sucks in surrounding enemies and deals animo damage. Contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro elements causes the storm to absorb that element and deal additional elemental damage. The storm can only absorb one element each time. After unlocking the talent Storm Eye, Venti's energy will be replenished at the end of Wind's Grand Ode. If an element was absorbed, the energy of party members of that element will also be replenished. Even though Venti is more than capable of handling different obstacles in battle, strategic party selection and teamwork can help you maximize Venti's abilities. First, use Divine Archery to attack enemies from afar and whittle away at their health. Use Skyward Sonnet to launch dangerous enemies into the air. Gather up energy to prepare for the final attack. When your energy is full, unleash your elemental burst. Wind's Grand Ode sucks the enemies in and deals animal damage. Use another element on enemies in the storm to generate a swirl reaction. Then use another compatible element to cause an elemental reaction. Causing another elemental reaction brings the battle to a swift end. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. Venti captures this spirit in his ballads. Flora and fauna he sings of seem to have a life of their own and transport us to the moon and the stars. This self-proclaimed best bard of the mortal world 
gets his strength, his unwithering inspiration from the wind. But what Venti seeks in life is not eternal fame for his ballads. Rather, he'd be happy with a cup of wine and a lyre to sing the marvelous stories of the world. Yes, that would make Venti the Bard very content indeed.